This short video will give you some instructions and tips on how to complete your flat Stanley recount on the Karina intranet. First of all, you need to take your picture using a digital camera when you have your adventure with Flat Stanley. Then take the picture from the digital camera and save it to your computer. Once you've done that, there's three things which you need to do, and that's what we'll be talking about here. You need to compress your picture so it is the correct size for the web page. You need to complete your recount using the Karina intranet and then attach your compressed photo to your recount. It doesn't matter what computer you use, whether you've got Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, a Mac. Either way, you need to try to complete these five steps. Take your picture, save it to your computer, compress it so that it's nice and small, complete your recount on the intranet and attach it. I'll be using Windows XP, so whilst the instructions I provide are specific to that operating system, they'll give you an idea of what needs to be done. So let's have a look. Here's the picture which, which Miss Nicholson took using her digital camera. She then saved it to the computer. Now this picture is very large. It's 2.9 megabytes, 4,000 by 3,000 pixels. It wouldn't fit on this screen. I can also see the size of it if I flick to details in, the, in this Explorer view. So I need to compress this picture or make it smaller. So I can right click and open it with a program that will help me to compress or make a picture smaller, such as Microsoft Office Picture Manager. So I right clicked, open with, Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Now within this program, the simplest thing to do is to choose the option to edit the picture. That'll bring up a toolbar down the side here, from which I can say that I want to change the picture size by compressing it for a web page. This will make it smaller, as well as taking out information which isn't required. It's gone from 2.9 megabytes all the way down to 57 kilobytes, at least. I press OK, Save it, giving it a name that makes sense, and I'm done. I've completed step, step three, which is to compress the picture. There's no need to save the original. Here's the original here, and here's my smaller, much, more, much, much smaller picture. So how do I complete the recount? Log on to the internet. Here I'm using Internet Explorer. Navigate to the Carinia webpage, www.carinia.newsouthwales.edu.au. Use the links to go to intranet. You can do this from home or from school. Put in the login details that you use at school. I'm using U4 Student, U4 Student. That's just the temporary login. You need to use the one that you, which you use in the computer labs at school. Hit login, and that'll bring up to me, or that'll bring up the pages that I can use. Whether you're in Stage 2 Literacy Mix Nicholson or Stage 2 Literacy Mr. Spokes, you need to click on one of those. So if I was in Miss Nicholson's class, I'd click on Stage 2 Literacy Miss Nicholson. That brings up this page, and I scroll down to Term 1, and here's Flat Stanley Novel with the My Adventure with Flat Stanley task. If I click on this task, up comes the screen where I can put my recount and attach my photo. Miss Nicholson's given you instructions here on what to do. She says to re hit reply to her instructions, and when you do that, that will bring up this, this box for you to complete. In here, you type your recount of your flat Stanley adventure. Now make sure that your spelling and punctuation is correct. Once you've done that, you can browse for and attach your photo. So here I am, I'm going to browse for the photo which I've saved, Flat Stanley Small, and open that, and then post the whole lot up to the forum for everybody to have a look at in class on the smart board. You should get a warning message telling you you've got 30, 30 minutes to go back and make any changes which you wish. Hit continue to that. And here it is, my recount and my picture, ready for everyone to have a look at. If you've got any other questions on how to complete this task, I'd suggest that you come and see Mr Carter in the library or speak to Mr Sproats or Miss Nicholson.